This is a common question that resellers have on Amazon, is they have their item at a price, and the price goes down, what should you do? Should you wait till they sell it? Should you go low, just recoup your money? I mean, this is a complicated thing to answer. First thing you have to do is you have to take the sales rank, okay? Now, don't take the rank in Amazon, because the rank goes like this, so taking it could be anywhere there. What you gotta do is you gotta go to Keep on the app, and you gotta use your finger to scroll back, a year or so and go okay this is about what the price is consistently I mean the sales rank is consistently okay <clears throat> then you're gonna take that sales rank and you're gonna go into Jungle Scout estimator and you're gonna say how many of these are selling a month now none of this information is 100% they're doing their best to pull information and you know these aren't guarantees it's not how many sold it's an algorithm but it gives you an idea so say you go okay 500 sold. Then you're going to go in and look at the list of sellers in the buyer app or on the website. You're going to go, okay. Now, actually, you have to do this on the website and you got to have a subscription to keep up. But you can see how much stock they have. Again, this is not 100%. You see how much stock they have. And then what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, 500 are selling in a month. Okay, this guy has 10. This guy has 300. This guy has. And you add it up and go, okay, how long is it going to take to plow through these before we get to me? not including restocks or new sellers coming on the scene. You'll get an idea, right? If Jungle Scout Estimator says 500 and there's 10,000 before you get to you, you get to lower the price. But if it's like, says 500 and there's 20, eh, you know, wait till they sell. The other factor is you gotta look at Keepa and you gotta get a consensus of the price. And you gotta ask yourself, you know, is my price at market value, meaning what people are willing to pay. You know, you can't just go for a high price and hope you get it because everyone else is out of the way. Um, uh, that's what some people do. They do it a lot on StockX. It's just, I don't think it's a good strategy. But if you're priced well, and you look at Jungle Estimator and you go, okay, yeah, it's a reasonable amount of time before they sell. And you check in every few days and you go, are the numbers decreasing? not one guy, but overall, all the total, it doesn't even matter if the seller changed, but between you and the lowest buy price is the total number of quantity, if you add them all up, decreasing as time goes on. If it is, and it's significantly decreasing to where you'll get to yours, I'd say no more than three or four weeks, then yeah, let's hold because we'll get more money. But if it looks like it's not decreasing and staying the same or increasing and it's gonna be two, three, four months, then we wanna lower our price recoup and invest in something else. That's just a quick overview of an analysis of what I personally do to make this decision. But again, this is a complicated thing. It takes discernment. Um, but if you use just that part of what I said, it'll help you a ton in making the right decision. Let me know if you have any questions. We'd love to help.